The case was first reported to the Carbon County Sheriff's Office. It was handed off to the Red Lodge Police Department and is now with the State Division of Criminal Investigation. A poll worker says he witnessed the shredding of election material on county surveillance video. This is the video that has Carbon County poll watcher Chip Bennett concerned and asking a whole lot of questions. It was captured November 8th, election night, on the county's election office security cameras. We see our election administrator shredding what appears to us to be absentee ballots. That's Chip's wife, Lisa Bennett. She says the video is partially blocked with a privacy screen, but claims it shows 21 batches of documents being run through a shredder. We know that there are multiple pages going through. We can't quite tell how many pages that she's counting. The Bennett's contacted the county and filed a complaint that prompted an investigation that is now in the hands of the Division of Criminal Investigation. But there is another side to this story. The county says the video doesn't capture what some think. While no one from the county would speak with us on camera, County Attorney Alex Nixon provided this statement to MTN which says, Carbon County officials and employees did not shred ballots as alleged in that video. The shredding undertaken by the Carbon County Elections Administrator, which is depicted in the circulated video, is the shredding of ballot copies received via email from uniformed and overseas citizens absentee voting act voters. An explanation that makes sense to Christina Barsky. You wouldn't see things shredded that are um, official documents, things like ballots um, or affidavits of any kind. Those all have to be retained on the retention schedule. Barsky is a professor of public administration and policy at the University of Montana Law School. She's also a poll watcher in Missoula County. She says if what the county is claiming is true, it's perfectly legal. Overseas ballots are received via email and those emails are often shredded after being transposed to ballots. If they print it off of a printer in the elections office and then put it on the paper ballot, that printout could be shredded because it's not a voted ballot. But the Bennetts aren't convinced. What we see in the video does not match up with what they claim it is. They say the optics of any documents being shredded on election day are worrisome at best, and they fear the activity captured on video is illegal. I'm personally hoping that there's a good explanation for this that makes sense, but I'm not hopeful. In Billings, David J. MTN News.